What's up, guys? This is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm back here with another MLB 16, the show, Baltimore Orioles franchise, and today is Game 4 of the World Series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers lead the series 2-1. We're looking to tie it at 2-2, as we have probably the hottest pitcher in the postseason going on the mound, Giovanni Gallardo, who is 2-0 in the postseason with a 2 with a 0.50 ERA and opposing batting average of only 145. He's taking on Alex Wood today. You take a look at the starting lineup here. You got Adam Jones leading off this time. We do have um, Joey Rickard on the bench this game. He is a little tired, so we're going to give him a little rest for game four. And uh, let's see how we can do here in the top of the first inning. Alex Wood in some trouble on pitch number 10. He gets it to a uh, Machado to double play here. Uh, but we do get a run to score, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. We get a run, but at what cost, you know? But later on in the inning, with a runner on third, Mark Trumbo at the plate. And Mark Trumbo says, I am taking this one out. And that is a two-run homer. And the Orioles are up 3-0 in the first inning. Alex Wood in a bit of trouble here. He doesn't seem to have his best stuff tonight, which is something that we need to take advantage of because, man, oh, man, I have had problems facing the Dodgers in this series. And uh, we got to jump on opportunities when they present themselves and not leave runners on base. As, like I said, 3 nothing early, I'll take it. Later on, it's Adam Jones with a runner on third, and he's going to smoke this one past the shortstop for a base hit as that is going to plate a run, making it, for nothing as J.J. Hardy comes out to score and here comes the pitching coach here for the Dodgers trying to get Alex Wood some sort of relief here to try and get him some time but later on another double play ball but we do get another run to score so making it 5 nothing, Baltimore Orioles as we are jumping on opportunities as they present themselves but later on here they do have a runner on the Dodgers do is Adrian Gonzalez grounds out to a double play Playing them a run. So a lot of double play balls are being turned into runs this game. Uh, that's kind of the theme here in this game. But Howie Kendrick here slaps this one in the gap. And that is going to plate home a run for the Dodgers. And it's going to be an RBI double for Howie Kendrick. Andre Ethier comes around to score, making it 5-2. And now the Dodgers are starting to creep back a little bit. I'm not too worried just yet. They're still down by three runs. But now they're only down two right here as the Dodgers play another run, making it 5-3. So our big early lead is slowly diminishing. We don't like that. So here comes Chris Davis. And you know he has been pretty hot this postseason. Well, add another home run to his total right here. Deep to center field. And that one is going to find itself over the wall. Home run, crush Davis. It's now 6-3 Orioles. As Chris Davis has had a pretty good game so far. He's three for three or like three for four. And uh, he's had a pretty good game. He's had a pretty good postseason. Man, he, if the Orioles end up winning this World Series, he may be World Series MVP or postseason MVP for that matter. So here we go in the seventh inning. And the uh, Yosemite Grandal is going to take this one in to right. And this one's going to be over the outstretched glove by a little bit too by, of Hyung Soo Kim. And that is going to be a two-run homer for Yosemite Grandal, making it 6-5. But here in the ninth, Adam Jones at the plate once again. And he's going to take this one into fairly deep right field. And that one's going to be short of the wall. As that is going to plate home another run, making it 7-5. And that gives us a little bit of an insurance to go into the bottom of the ninth. Because right now, uh, the pitching has been kind of off this game. Uh, as Jimmy Paredes comes in to score. But later on, it's uh, Zach Britton on the mound. And this one's going to be taken into deep right. Mark Trumbull right there. But the Dodgers get another run, making it 7-6. So a we'll on, runner on third. The tying run at third. Kyle Crawford on first. So there's some speed over there on the first base. Uh, but we got to get the strikeout. And we do. On the slider on the inside corner. He went halfway. And that counts as a strike, and the Orioles win game four. Final score, 7-6. Another intense game in the World Series. These games have been nuts here in the World Series, and we cannot wait for game five. This one's going to be in Los Angeles as well. The pitching matchup, well, we have Miguel Gonzalez going on the mound. He has been decent this postseason as well. He's at a, a 1.5 ERA, so he's had some pretty good success here in the postseason. Then in game six, we are going to have uh, Kevin Gosman, and in Game 7, it's supposed to be Chris Tillman. We might go a mix of starting pitchers because we want to go all out for the final game and make sure that we can get the right matchups and everything like that and make sure that we can um, 
get ourselves a World Series. So Giovanni Gallardo didn't have the greatest start. Not what we, were, what we were used to seeing in this postseason, but he still had a quality start. Six innings pitched, six hits, three runs, two of them earned, three strikeouts and a walk. Not a bad stat line for the guy as uh, you know he continues to do pretty well in the postseason. So you see your player of the game is Chris Davis. Three for four, like I said, he had a home run that really kind of helped us prevail in this game. He had an all, only one RBI, but I feel like Mark Trumbo's RBI, two-run homer in the first inning was probably the biggest difference maker. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button. We're almost to 8,000 subscribers, getting ever so close every single day. But until then, next time, my name is Simmons Ventures. You guys have been amazing as always, and I'm out. Peace.